All right, let's move on to the, uh, the next problem here, which I'll have to move because I don't have enough room. But, and this one, uh, this is a good problem um, because it's going to give us a number of conversions here. Um, picoliters to cubic feet. Okay, they certainly don't have a direct conversion factor for those. Okay, um, so <clears throat> let's do just like we did in the first one. Let's map out some way that we can get from picoliters to cubic feet. All right, now um, what you generally want to have in mind if you're going from volume units to cubic length units, okay? Um, you're thinking milliliters, um, which are the same, I'll put an equal sign here, milliliter, one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter, okay? So at some point we're going to need this relationship because that's going to go from our liter volume units to our cubic length units, centimeters. Okay, and then from centimeters, I can um, I can go to inches and then to feet. Okay, um, so I'll just write it here like this: inches, um, and that'll be cubic inches, and then from cubic inches to cubic feet. All right, and then from picoliters to get to milliliters. Um, I could potentially uh, think about that a little bit and go directly there, but I'm going to go through liters first uh, just because I think it might be slightly easier okay, uh, to think about. All right, so now we have our map. We're going to go from picoliters to liters to milliliters to cubic centimeters to cubic inches to cubic feet. That's the process. Now we just need to find a conversion factor for each one of those steps. And, and this is my conversion factor for that step there. It's just one to one, they're the same thing. But I have another conversion factor, another conversion factor. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and write out my conversion factors here. I'm going to leave a little space so I have room to do that problem. Um, so, let me write it like this, picoliters to liters to milliliters to cubic centimeters to uh, cubic inches to cubic feet. Okay, so um, picoliters to liters. What in the world is a picoliter? All right, this is uh, one of the lesser common, uh, less common units in the metric system because it's so small we don't encounter it too often, but we do encounter it. Um, and it, uh, you should, um, should know, know that I will uh, give you the list. Actually in your textbook on page 26 there's a list um, of the metric prefixes that you'll want to know. Okay. But here, a picoliter is 10 to the minus 12th liters, all right? Pico is, um, this is a trillionth of a liter, okay? So what that means is um, one picoliter is 10 to the minus 12th liters, okay? Um, so I'll just write it like this, one picoliter equals 10 to the minus 12th liters. All right, so that's that conversion factor. How many milliliters are in a liter? Okay, notice the way I'm asking that question because uh, I think more often than not, it's easier to look at it and say, how many of the smaller one are in the larger one? The milliliter is just a, a small uh, unit Whereas the liter, you're familiar with a, a liter bottle or a two liter bottle of soda, um, and that's uh, considerably larger than the milliliter. In fact, there are a thousand milliliters in one liter. Okay? 
So that gets us up to this point. And as we wrote above, uh, one milliliter equals one cubic centimeter. So those are the same. Um, and now how many cubic inches are, uh, or rather how many cubic centimeters are in a cubic inch? Okay, well, I don't know offhand, but I do know how many centimeters are in an inch, not cube, just length, okay? Um, you'll remember from, uh, from math that if you want to find the volume, okay, volume, like liters, um, but given the length of uh, the side for a cube, if you want to find the volume of that cube, you take what? You take the, the, the width, the length, the, uh, the height, okay? You multiply the three sides of that cube together, uh, and since they're a cube, they're all equal. Um, and guess what happens? You have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. It gives you centimeters cubed, okay? So cubic length units, that's the same as the volume of, of that um, cube, all right? Um, so what that means is I can convert those lengths. I can take my um, conversion factor of uh, 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. You need to know this. This is a very common, uh, the most common, I would say, used, um, commonly used English to metric conversion factor. So you should know that one. But anyway, I can, uh, I can convert each of those um, lengths, if you will, from centimeters into inches, and then, uh, and then I'll have cubic inches, okay? I'll show how we do that in just a second. And then the same sort of thing um, here. I don't know how many cubic inches are in a cubic foot, but I do know uh, how many inches are in one Okay, so here are all of our conversion factors, going from picoliters to liters, from liters to milliliters, from milliliters to cubic centimeters, um, and then we're going to use these to get from, uh, from centimeters to inches, and we're just going to have to cube that to keep uh, that um, cubic part of it in there. And then the inches in the feet also will be cubed. Okay? So, uh, so there you have it. It's longer, but it's really not that much more complicated. You're doing the same steps. You're just doing them uh, more. All right? 